game from the Mavericks' first ever appearance in the Frozen I just want to give a couple of thank yous. I want to thank all of our fans. You're absolutely terrific. Uh, doesn't matter what the circumstances are, the fans have supported us from day one. And thank you all for what you do. I want to thank our uh, entire community as well as our campus community. Our faculty and staff are as supportive as any place I've ever been. Maybe that's why students are our number one strategic priority. But thanks to all of the staff and the faculty. And let me say thanks to our students. For those of you who uh, were not at For those of you that were not able to go to the Midwest Regional, we had the privilege of sitting next to the students who were there. Um, let me tell you, they did a fantastic job. And at the end of the game, the team raced up to the glass. The students were going crazy. I was trying to recover from a heart issue <laughs> and actually had tears. Um, it was a wonderful moment, and I want you all to know that dreams, uh, they, do, they do come true. And I'm guessing you're in the same place I am. I'm still dreaming. And uh, we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop this year or next year or next year. Um, and the reason we're not stopping is because of our student athletes in general on our campus, but also our hockey team. These young men, these young men are phenomenal. Um, we have a great athletic department. Trev and the entire team have done a great job uh, the coaching staff in general, and in particular, the hockey coaching staff and support team have done a great job. I want you to know something. Um, not only do these young men have tremendous talent and spirit and play with heart on the ice, they are incredible in the classroom. They are genuine student athletes. So we're proud of them in every possible way and uh, will continue to be so. Um, I know the students uh, developed a song, I believe. And it's a fabulous tune that they sing and I want all the students to know we all believe too. I want the team to know we believe. And uh, let's go to Boston and show them what it's all about to be from Omaha. Thank you guys so much. Um, I can't thank you all enough for being here. Uh, it truly is something special. Your relentless support this year and throughout my past four years have, have really been amazing. Um, we got something special this year. We got a great group of guys. We believe, we know you believe, and we look forward to finishing the season on top in Boston. Thank you. From behalf of our team to you guys, thank you so much. Uh, your undying support, loyalty, and uh, energy has been truly felt by everyone up here. Um, throughout our four years, you guys have been unbelievable. You're our rock our seventh man, and uh, truly are the best fans in college hockey, so thank you guys. Uh, I just want to thank you guys, uh, just like Dom and uh, James said, uh, thank you so much for all the support over our four years. Uh, it's been unbelievable. Um, this team's extremely excited to be able to represent Omaha, a great city and an unbelievable university up in Boston, and uh, really uh, looking forward to coming back here with the national championship. 
the players are up here, uh, obviously with their playoff beards. <laughs> Normally they're well shaven and everything, but they're uh, going out there, like the boys said, to win a national tournament. <laughs> we, we've got to appear out there as just happy to be there. But behind the scenes, I think you all know what we're going there for. It's not eat, to eat clam chowder and lobster, it's to put a ring on our fingers. <laughs> I've got some introductions. Uh, first of all, uh, my wife Jackie's out there somewhere. I just want to thank her. Oh yeah, back there. Uh, assistant coach Alex Todd, right over here, Alex Wade. <laughs> assistant coach down here, Troy Judding. <laughs> Goaltender coach Lee Mendelson. Lee, where are you? <laughs> Strength coach uh, Aaron Gorshi, back in the back row. And our trainer, Josh Engelbritson. <laughs> also, uh, the guy that started this program, uh, obviously without him, uh, nothing would have happened. Mike Kemp over here. Mike. Uh, <laughs> and the guy who really built it, built this arena down here, Trev Alberts. That's going to be our home. That's going to be a place where the guys can go over on their free time, shoot pucks, where the students can go play broom ball, intramural hockey, faculty skating, whatever, whatever else we choose to do. But uh, uh, for right now, these, these players are focused. Um, you just don't uh, do the things that they've done and overcome odds. Right now they're uh, talking about North Dakota and their All-American goaltender. They're talking about uh, Boston University's Eichel who might win the Hobie Baker. They're talking about Providence, Rhode Island that uh, hosted the regional out there. And who is Omaha? When we get back here, everyone knows who's gonna be Omaha. Obviously a very special night for all of us, thanks to a very, very special hockey team. Thank you. I'm currently in the process, along with John Fye, writing a book on the road to the arena. I fully expect to add a chapter to that book. The heading will be 2015 UNO Mavericks National Champion. So with that, we say thank you. Enjoy the game, whether you're watching in person, whether you're watching on ESPN2, or whether you're listening to us on 1180 Zone to the Deuce. Please, follow the Mavs. Cheer loudly wherever you are. Believe me, they can hear you wherever you are. Enjoy the week and go Mavs!